With dreamy eyes and bright lips, Emma Stone's makeup was a red carpet highlight at last week's Oscars. Rachel Goodwin is the artist behind the look, and she's here to show us exactly how to get it. Well, Rach, thanks so much for joining us today. Aw, thank you for having me. Of course. Now, you've been working with Emma for a while now, right? I have, almost eight years. <laughs> Which is basically her entire career. Yeah, pretty much. That's awesome. Since super bad. I, so literally, yeah. right from the beginning. I love that. This look for the Oscars, it was quite different from what we were seeing from her most of award season. What was the inspiration? I was just so inspired by the dress when I saw it. The color was so unconventional and different and um, something I haven't seen walk down a red carpet. And I just felt like it deserved sort of to be met with another unexpected color. And it just made me think of nature. I looked at pictures of flowers and like something you would see in a garden. Now, does Emma have a specific feature that she likes to accentuate with makeup? We've had many phases. We've gone through many phases. There's been eye phases and lip phases. And right now we've been in a little bit of a lip phase Got for it. sure. But I, I think that, um, you know, they've all been different. The colors are always different. And this one was particularly poppy and fun. Exactly that coral, it complemented the guacamole green the of guacamole her dress. Green. I know, I love that she called it that. That was just a perfect Emma move. Yep. All right, so what's the first step? So the first step is foundation, and I applied it in the center of the face with a brush, and then I buffed it off with a beauty blender sponge to give it a really natural finish. From there, I added cheeks, which are, um, again, I stayed in the warm, peachy shade. Now, what about the eyes? So for the eyes, I did no black anywhere. I wanted no hard lines, so I really focused on soft browns and vanilla shades, and I kept it really soft and ethereal. The last thing was mascara, and I did a lot of, um, you have the most amazing lashes. <laughs> This woman should be in a lash campaign. I know, give me a campaign. Immediately. <laughs> but I used just mascara on you, and I think like it's unbelievable, but they look like they're not even real. And I did it on um, the top and bottom because I wanted that kind of doe-eyed, really, really, um, like you said, angelic quality. I definitely added highlighter to the cheekbones and the brow bone and even on right on top of the cupid's bow even. So I combined the highlighter and a hydrating serum on the back of my hand with a brush and I applied it to the cheekbones to give the skin a really lush sort of glowing look. All right, and then to finish off the look, obviously the lips. So what are your tips here? The lips are really key, and what I did was I layered. I, I used a lip pencil all across the entire lip, and then I added the lipstick on top, not only to give it more staying power, but to give it more pop. Also boost the color. And so I used a color underneath another color, and gives it a lot more oomph. Which was the Revlon lipstick. Yes. Which, by the way, smells amazing and tastes amazing. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this stuff now. And I love that you combined, you were using Chanel and then you were using Revlon. Yes. It was like kind of like yeah. the high low, like exactly. the luxury, and then you could just go to the drugstore and get the other one That's too. For this look, is there any uh, particular eye shade or skin tone that it would work best with? Honestly, no, and that's what I really love about it. It's very universal, and I think that, you know, coral is one of those things, it's one of the most flattering colors on all skin tones, and so I think it's, it's time to bring it back. Rachel, thank you so much. I love this look. I feel just as glam as Emma looked. Excellent.